Okay, so I'm at the farm and Emily and I are going kayaking out on the duck pond. And we got a Baja down some of the trails to get back to where we dropped the kayaks in. So we're gonna take the kayaks in my old truck so that Emily doesn't have to drive her nice shiny truck down through the woods. But my truck is currently full of old furniture that my mom was hoarding at her house. So I gotta shove it all off in the burn pile. So I'm letting Emily take over the cameraman work now. Here you go. Like playing cameraman. <laughs> Did you like it? I suppose. Okay. Watch it die right in the middle of this. What would die? The camera? Yeah. It's got 91% battery. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is like three times as fast as I normally can open this tailgate. the love seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's only a hundred years old. Yeah. Yeah, it was a hundred years old whenever I got it off the side of the road. <laughs> Like years from now, whenever my channel's more popular, nobody gets on and it's like, that love seat would have sold for like five grand. <laughs> be like, well, okay. All right. If you click the red button on top, it turns it off. Oh no, the camera's falling over. It's still kind of there. You want help?
There ain't even no room for this cooler. Look at your big ass boat. About uh, getting wet. Getting wet. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty risky business. We'll see. Put that over here. I'm gonna put it in my hand. Oh my. Oh my. So I'm on the water technically. It's windy. Like substantially windy. It's real windy. And uh, I would like the record to show Emily. If you do fall in, at <laughs> least it's on camera. At least we have proof. It's all right. Yeah. Maiden voyage. Entered in uh, America's funniest America's funniest home videos. No. You better get in that thing, girl. Well, hold on. You better. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. You gonna get wet. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna stop. You gotta get wet. Whatever you do, just don't forget like I do how bouncy they are left to right. I mean, the amount of movement that happens inside a kayak is frightening to say the least you know if i wasn't excited before i definitely am now thank you <laughs> wait i'm trying to get you more excited yeah. please tell me you've been in a kayak before yeah just not this one you should have taken this out on a puddle first no, probably. i cannot stress enough do not move left to right very much <laughs> Oh, I know what I needed to bring. The head mount to strap this sucker to my forehead. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. You're going to have to jam your oar into the dirt. I'm trying to. And rock. But not left to right. I know. <laughs> okay. And she's off. Look at you! In your kayak! I'm gonna just let the wind take me for a lap. Okay. What? I needed an arm break. Now what? Yeah, don't don't turn over. I'm gonna go to that box. <laughs> Is it windy enough for you? Yeah. Pretty windy. I'm slowly, You're already moving. <laughs> I'm slowly I'm slowly blowing away. Goodbye now. So I told Emily I've made a mental checklist. My kayak needs an anchor so I can anchor out. I need a strap that straps to the oar so that I can't lose my oar. And little hooks to tie off to each other like real boats do. So you can like sit out and... This is for your paddle though. I know, but it just slides. <laughs> I know that's for the paddle, but it just slides right off of there. <laughs> So I just stick the, the paddle down inside the kayak. All right. You're doing a good job holding the show together here. I know. So, do you want to go see the dam and then sit over there and 
have our one kayak beer that we brought with us. <laughs> <laughs> Go see the beavers? Yeah. Well, hopefully there's no beavers. Or if there are, hopefully they just... Hopefully don't... nobody gets really messed up by that goose. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> she was feeling frisky. She was way over there, though. I'm pushing you away. Ah, I'll never forget you, Jack. It's weird seeing the beaver dam from this side. It's it's just a lot of mud, it seems like. You think beavers are territorial? <laughs> I don't know, but you're pretty damn close. Well, yeah, I'm going to run into it. <laughs> My plan was to just run into it and use it as like a, a dock. I don't know. It's an impressive piece of architecture that's for sure <laughs> they've done a bang up job and I really appreciate what they've done so beavers if you're hearing this just know I come in peace just so you don't come in hot. I just need to lean up against <laughs> you I need to lean up against your dam <laughs> your damn what <laughs> oh beaver jokes I'm in. Emily are you tired of my damn jokes yet <sighs> <Maybe>. <laughs> Oh no. I'm gonna need. We're kicking it in reverse. Yeah. Funk. I really hope beavers aren't territorial. Because we're both in here now. You having fun? Yeah. Man, this is beautiful. Oh yeah. As we were walking out the door, I looked at Emily and I was like, "Do we need do we need one beer to drink out on the kayaks?" We definitely needed one beer to drink <laughs> out on the kayaks. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. We drifting real bad. That's okay. <laughs> Luckily, we're drifting right towards the truck, so <laughs> it's way over there. It's dangerous. It's the cheapest one they sell on Amazon, so would you trust it to hover your camera out over the water? I mean, it's sketchy no matter what. Okay. Let's try it with a wider angle here. <laughs> wider angle? It's best if you just don't think about how sketchy it is. You know what's crazy about the wide angle lens on this thing? Mm -hmm. Whenever you stick it out on the end of this selfie stick, it looks like it's a drone. <laughs> like it's way up there. This wouldn't be too bad to duck hunt out of. Pop them, just row right up there, get them, come back. Now what? How long before you think I end up falling trying to get out of here? Oh, uh, you need to push yourself closer to the edge. Yeah. I can't believe I made it out without falling. <laughs> How bad is it? <laughs> you got a field on your truck. Oh no. At least on this side. So I decided to take the shorter route back to the house. The front's not bad, the back's real bad. And we almost got stuck. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. <laughs> Oh man. Oh 
no. <laughs> oh no. Why didn't I have the camera on? Because you know what? If I had had the camera on, I bet we wouldn't have even spun a tire. Exactly. Because that's how my life goes. Tires are nice enough. Nice and clean though. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking that the bed would protect them like for the most part. Yeah. <sighs> it could be worse. It could certainly be worse. Yeah. It certainly could be worse. I'm glad that we didn't end up getting stuck because pulling this thing out on the trail that we were on would have been interesting to get a piece of equipment down there to get it. So it could have been worse, but I really hate getting this truck so muddy because that's not what it's for. That's all right. We didn't get stuck. Had an awesome day kayaking with Emily. We're uh, making plans to go out for a longer trip, maybe on a river or something. We'll see. But it was a beautiful day and I'm glad we didn't end up getting stuck. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this episode. Make sure to subscribe and check out all the other videos. There's camping content, this is the first kayaking video of a few. Lots of road trips, reviving old vehicles, uh, working on stuff in my garage, swap meet coverage. I mean, there's there's a little bit of everything on this channel for everybody. There's even a, bur a motorcycle burnout for a happy new year's. I kind of ramble at the end of every video. You get the point. Thanks for watching.